it's time for an update from Small Bots of Destruction from February 11th and 12th of 2017. This was, I guess, their third or fourth event. I don't know. They say it's their third, but I kind of remember there being a Stuart Small Bots of Mass Destruction back in 04, but kind of understand why you wouldn't count that being so long ago. But anyway, I brought three robots, so three out of the four weight classes I had bots in. My 150 gram bot Little Demon, my one pound Jack Chop, and my three pound Sawin. Unfortunately, these two bots were basically just redone from Maker Fair Orlando. I had more ambitious plans for Sawin to replace it with a better three pounder. Those parts didn't show up until the Monday afterwards, so that had to go on the back burner. And honestly, I just had no plans for a one pounder, so I just kind of got Jack Chop theory theoretically working better. As you can see, that changed drastically over the course of the event. So as usual, I'm gonna go through each of these robots one by one and talk about how they did, what worked, what didn't, and go from there. We'll start off with Sawin here. As I mentioned, not much change with this robot between Maker Fair Orlando and Small Bots of Mass Destruction. I had gotten the brushless drive working a little more reliably by soldering the pinions on instead of just trusting glue. So it held up for a couple fights, but not particularly well. The weapon system is exactly the same as it was. I removed a little wedge lit down here at the bottom and replaced it with a piece of spring steel, even though that didn't particularly work. So someone's first fight was against French Revolution, which was kind of a tombstone style spinner. And it's gotta be one of my favorite fights of the whole weekend that I was a part of because Sawin was working great in the beginning. Both drive motors were working really well. It could move around a lot. The weapon was cranking up and we went hit for hit for quite a while in that fight. And there was a lot of me tossing him in the air. There was a lot of him tossing me across the arena. Just a lot of great robot combat destruction, the kind of stuff that at least I'm always happy to be a part of. And at least this time, I was actually dishing out some of those hits, unlike with Gorgor, where I was just being the victim to get those hits most of the time. But it was a really close fight. At first, I felt like I was doing really well, really holding my own against him. And then the cracks kind of started to appear. I believe my drive started to go out partway through the fight and then the top armor was completely separated from the robot exposing all the innards and at that point it just kind of became a game of trying to wait out the last like 30 seconds or so of the match without having him just tear my innards to shreds and it came down to a judge's decision it seemed to be a pretty close decision and I just barely squeaked out with a win on that one. Next up, I was fighting Carnage from Team X, which was kind of a box with a large overhead spinning bar. This was actually the second day. I only had one beetle fight day one. I added on some wheel guards that ended up just kind of ripping off very early on. They didn't hold on very well. I didn't really have screws that were long enough to hold them into the UHMW securely. I was also down to just one side drive. The one motor was basically not being able to be fixed for multiple reasons. But I was able to knock their weapon bar off, but they had a really strong drivetrain. So it kind of just became an awkward match of me trying to crab walk towards them and avoid them pushing me around too much. After another fight the previous day, I'd kind of made up my mind that I wasn't gonna let fights go to the judges if I could avoid it at any point. So when I was able to flip them upside down and render them mobile, I just kind of let them sit there, which I'm not particularly proud of, but it was very likely the fight was gonna go against me very, very soon if I kept trying to play. Next up, I had a fight against Melanistic Leopard. Still with one side drive, still with those crappy wheel guards reattached, which got torn off pretty quickly. He was using, I believe, the Finger Tech kit, or at least it was very similar to it. It was silver, so I'm guessing it might not have been unless he repainted it. But very, very similar designs, and he was able to just kind of beat the crap out of me. I think he ripped both of my wheels off in the process. And he did go on to win the entire event, so I guess if I'm going to lose, I might as well lose to somebody who uh, got pretty darn far. And then Sawin's last fight of the weekend was a rematch from Maker Fair Orlando fighting Drumroll. And while I got the upper hand on Drumroll last time, he definitely kicked my butt this time. I switched out to use some silver sparks instead of the brushless drive just to have two-wheel drive again. But after a few hits, 
a couple trade-offs. I think he was kind of limping around a bit as well. My power wire came disconnected from my switch and left me sitting there dead. Someone did have one other fight that I actually neglected to film completely by accident. But the Beetleweight Rumble was so late in the day on Sunday, I think most Beatles had already packed up and left or were in the finals. So it really just ended up being me and Hexy's Revenge, also from Team X. And then Kurt threw his micro Sparky or whatever Sparky version that is into the ring. But by the time he threw that robot into the ring, I was actually taking Sawin out. Since as the fight started, for whatever reason, my weapons seemed to be jamming up. And my drive was back to being problematic, even though I was using the Silver Sparks. And when we went to go throw the third beetle in there, just so it was more of a real rumble, Sawin started letting off little plumes of smoke. So I decided to pull him out. I believe what happened is that the ESC came undone from the motor and started shorting. I honestly still haven't ripped this guy completely apart yet to see see exactly what it was that really burnt up so I'm not even really sure what the damage is at this point. So the jack chop you see here before you is a mere shell of its former self. The drivetrain has been gutted out that's what I replaced Sawin's drive with after the brushless kind of crapped out on me. And I was really trying to get it running again on Sunday morning. It was out by Saturday night so I was trying to just reconfigure. I thought maybe I'd make it horizontal so I could compete in the Antwit Rumble and just have some fun with it but ended up not having enough parts to make it really work. So for the actual fights, the first one was up against Cyanotoxin, which was also the winner of the Antweight class. I was doing all right for a minute there. I was spinning really well. I was able to kind of navigate around him. I hit his titanium wedge and ripped it clean off. But in the process, my weapon itself came loose. And because I only had a shaft collar on one end of the shaft, kind of broke loose of its mounts through the belt and I was weaponless. I was really happy with the way this robot drove at this event. It was much more controllable than it had been previously. It was able to navigate around the arena pretty well, but he was able to dump me right into the pit. The second fight was up against a robot called Reaper, which had a really interestingly shaped conical drum. Once again, I kind of had to dance around. The gyroscopic forces on this robot are pretty immense, so it makes turning and getting around a bot a little more difficult than it would normally be. It also seemed like his drum was getting under my weapon every time. I was really hoping the blade would be able to kind of get under the drum and lift him up, but it was having the opposite effect and we traded a few blows and then he managed to knock me over backwards and somewhere in the process of flipping around it actually seemed like my weapon motor melted the mount that it was sitting in. It might have just shattered, but there appeared to be burn marks on the plastic where it was. So at that point, I was left just being able to drive around. Not really very effective. There's no surface on Jack Chop that's meant for pushing. Everything is pretty much rounded and pretty up high. So without the weapon, it's kind of a useless robot. My goal was just to kind of be as aggressive as I could, to stay on top of him as much as I could, and just kind of hope for some kind of catastrophe on his end. That didn't happen, and it was a pretty easy loss for me by Judge's decision. The robot as you can see never actually made the rumble by the time I got it this far in terms of reconfiguring it I already realized I had to swap the drive train out of it for Sawin since it was still in the event at that time and I just never did anything beyond mangle the frame Last but not least is Little Demon, the robot I am most proud of coming out of this event. The UK Ant class, fairy weights, whatever you want to call them. I call them UK Ants because I started off with Swark and that's what we always called them. It's always been a weight class that I've enjoyed a lot. I think just because the field is usually a little smaller and it's a little more interesting to build them to some weird degree because they are so tiny. You can kind of get away with some things. That seems to work to my favor in very strange ways, but... This was my replacement for Electric Eye. I wanted to do something more destructive, something with a spinner design. The basic design of this robot is actually reflecting the beetle weight that I have planned and have started to get parts in the build. And I did deck it out in the neon green and orange that we used to paint our old middleweight with, which kind of was a cool throwback. Unfortunately, things didn't start off too well. My first fight was against Soft Serve, which was kind of like a very classic doorstop shaped wedge. I got a couple good hits in on him, but I made a little design flaw. I kept a piece of Lexan just glued into one side of the robot to protect the battery from having the blade kind of bend in and smack the lie poly and cause a fire. But that piece came loose due to the, some of the vibrations and the hits and the 
the weapon jammed against it. And in the process of the weapon jamming against it, it actually bent the thin aluminum that the frame's made out of, causing the robot to become very hard to drive in the same process. So very similar to Jack Chop, without a weapon and definitely without being able to drive very well, it really became a robot that wasn't really doing too much. It's a shame because I got some really good hits in to begin with, but once that damage piled up, it just wasn't really doing anything else. Next up was against Nanotoxin, and this fight went a lot better. I made some critical adjustments. I removed that Lexan piece. I tightened things up a little bit, and I got some really good hits in on his bot. His horizontal spinner was already kind of failing from previous fights, so that kind of stopped and came off pretty easily. But he put a really nice wedge on that bot and was able to push me around pretty hardcore. One thing Little Demon is really good at is self-writing. It will do somersaults all day long. Unfortunately, I had neglected to lock tight some of the bolts holding the weapon mount in place, so it did get a little wobbly during the fight, but it continued to work for the entire match, which was good. This fight was definitely close. I think I did a lot of damage to him. I got some really great hits in. He definitely kept on top of me the whole match. I feel like after the fight, we both kind of agreed that I probably won, but the judges actually ruled in his favor. I kind of just, I'm going to chalk that up to karma from the French Revolution fight with Sawin. I got lucky with the judges there. I got unlucky with the judges this time and that was what kind of prompted that whole don't leave it to the judges to decide theory that I went into day two with but overall an incredibly fun fight and it was a really good opportunity to show what the robot could do and just because it was out of the real tournament, I did get to do the rumble with it. The rumble actually seemed like it was going pretty well. I don't think I had much of a chance of winning, but the main robot I kind of went after, semi-unintentionally, but somewhat intentionally, was Mustachio. At the last Small Bots of Mass Destruction, Mustachio kind of mopped the floor with Electric Eye, and I kind of wanted to test to see if this new robot could hold up to Andrea's bot, and did okay. She could definitely get under me with pretty much any opportunity, but I think if I worked on the front wedge lid a little bit or some adjustments, I could probably get the robot to actually stand up to that wedge. Which I think right now, between Mustachio and Nanotoxin, those are probably the most dangerous wedges in the UK Ant Florida group, so if I can get both of those down, I think I have a much better chance in future competitions. I did go up against a couple other robots in there, just trying to trade some blows with them. A lot of them ended up in the pit, and eventually they decided to let all those robots out of the pit so that we could have a more entertaining event and unfortunately i got scooped up by badazzler which is will bale's new little clamp bot or crusher bot and he dumped me right into the pit i had the weapon cranked up all the way kind of hoping somebody else would fall into the pit and i could act as a kill saw but unfortunately nobody else went into the pit after that i did do a couple grudge matches two of the three were actually against nanotoxin again one was more of a straight up rematch where we kind of wanted to see how much damage I could do to his bot. He had a better wedge on there now after he'd won the competition, but I don't think he'd actually charged his batteries, so I don't know how fair it really was. But I got to get more good hits in. I got to do some more crazy somersaults with that robot. And yeah, it's just a robot that seems to hold up really well for its size, and I think with some tweaks it can be a very strong competitor, which makes me happy. I did also do a demo against Hexy's Revenge, the three-pounder. I don't know what I was thinking, but he threw me in the pit, and and we kind of reset the robots. Then he slammed me into the wall and just jettisoned one of my motors completely out of the robot. So that was a little more destruction than I was really intending to have this guy experience. But the rest of it held up. And then I went and did yet another grudge match with now with just one wheel against Nanotoxin. And that was kind of both of us just running on nothing, I think, at that point. But it was fun to have so many grudge matches, even if it was all against mostly one person. But it was just fun to get to really play with this robot. I said I was going to run it until the wheels came off and that pretty much happened. So that's pretty much it from this event. I'm left with two robots that are getting replaced and one robot that is going to get rebuilt and move forward. As I already said, really happy with how Little Demon did. Not technically through the brackets, but just as far as actual performance went, I was pretty darn pleased with it. Sawan was never really designed to have more than one event under its belt anyway, but it did kind of show me a couple pain points again that I can kind of move on to the next beetle with and hopefully resolve. And Jack Chop is just kind of a crumbling mess and I knew it had design issues before even going into the event. So it's getting replaced with something completely different next time, I'm pretty sure. And well, I know for a fact, just because next time is very, very close. As of recording this on a Tuesday night after the event, I'm planning 
planning to go to another event next Saturday. So just a few more days, I'll be fighting robots again. With what? I'm not even sure at this point, but I'll get something together and I'll be at UF doing some robot fighting.